Three years! Three years I've waited to be back in a house and have a game room set up. I have waited so long and finally my entire collection in the US of A is set up. There is still a ton more stuff in Australia, but I want to show you guys everything that I have here. Stuff that I've collected throughout the last few years. Stuff that I really, really love and enjoy. Things that already hold a special place in my heart. I've had people asking for a game room tour now for forever and I've never had a game room that I've been proud enough about to actually do one for. So let's just do it now. So I'm going to start just on this side really quick with the poster wall. So my lovely fiance who's holding the camera right now, we actually shared this room. It's like a game room, work room, studio kind of situation, which is why it's so damn bright in here like the sun. So over here you have like her little workstation because she makes a bunch of things like she made this Maniac Mansion pillow for me. Actually, we're selling some. Hey, let's do some free promotion at the start of the video. If you guys want to buy a pillow, we still have a little Samson one left. But we're going to be making a bunch more and you can get them commissioned. There'll be a link in the description below. So she makes these and this is her workstation and that's her computer. This is my little editing corner with all of my posters and everything that gets me inspired while I'm editing. Like my Mama K picture, which Kim drew me. Woo! <coughs> Woo! <laughs> Alright, but I know that's not what you guys want to see. Now, in Australia, as I said, I have a collection I would say is probably about twice the size of this. So all of I have more than what could probably fit in this room. And that's not me bragging, it's me kind of being like... If you guys don't see something here and you're like, why does he only have three Super Nintendo games? The rest are back in Australia. And that kind of goes across the board. Like my Earthbound isn't here, which hurts me every single day. This is my Zelda shelf full purely of Zelda things. If I was to get my Zelda collection from Australia in here, I'd need three more shelves. So it's that kind of thing. So if you see Zelda games missing, that's where they are. These little Nindoroids figures, um, and then I have the Figma figure up here, and then I have some Amiibos, and then of course the new Breath of the Wild game, which I really love. The Zelda uh, uh, Twilight Princess pack with the Wolf Link in it. I have a little Japanese Legend of Zelda Minish Cap for Game Boy Advance. A Zelda's chess set behind there. I have a Repro, I have some games lying around. I have a little candle, which a fan of the show gave to me at the last convention because everyone knows that I love my Zeldies. So that's a lot of my Zelda stuff hidden in there. I don't think there's anything too special I need to point out. Most of the stuff that I really, really love, again, is in Australia. A lot of the really cool things. I have my Zelda Amiibos up here. I have these I bought in the Nintendo World of America store, so that's something that I actually really like a lot. Um, my friend, uh, my, my Canadian friend, I made a couple of, I made a lot of really great friends in Canada when I was there. And DJ painted me this one, so thank you DJ. Uh, this was given to me by a fan at a convention, and then I have my World of Nintendo figures stacked up and pinned against the wall here. This tree, again, my girlfriend, my fiance made me. And I uh, keep that up. I want to hang it up, but I haven't got a way to do it yet. And that's the tree from Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, obviously. I wanted to have my games on a shelf shelf. I didn't want to try and slam them into cubes, even though I really love these cubes. This is, again, what I had in Australia. I had cubes in Australia. I had white ones. I went for grey this time. I thought they'd look a little nicer. So these are all my PS4 games. I made the sure they were alphabetical because Alpha Omega Sin was at my house recently and yelled at me for not having these alphabetical. What does your kitty want? Brains. Do you want to check on him? Was he okay? He, he just wants to be included. My Xbox collection, which is quite small in comparison because I only like getting exclusives for that system. I prefer to get every game on PS4 that I like. I really like PlayStation 4. I love PlayStation 4. I've had a lot of fun with it. My PlayStation 4 is my original one from Australia. I lug it around everywhere with a big brick that I need to use to step it down to Australian power supply but I do it because it's special to me. My Wii U collection, which again is made up of some titles I got in Australia before I moved, and then the new ones that I got in America, which are the white ones. My Switch collection in here. All the things I really like about my Wii U collection was this was around about the time when Nintendo started sending me stuff to review, and a lot of them mean a lot to me. Like they sent me Paper Mario Color Splash, they sent me Minecraft, uh, I'm trying to think what else they sent me, but that's when they started sending me some games, so it means a lot to me. Also the 3DS, they have sent me a ton of 3DS games now. Pokemon Moon, they sent me Pokemon Sun, Hey Pikmin, uh, Mario and Luigi, uh, Yo-Kai Watch is in there somewhere, Monster Hunter Stories. So a lot of that means a lot to me and that's some stuff that I would never get rid of or never trade because I grew up with Nintendo. I love Nintendo, as is up here on this sign. Nintendo has always meant something to me. When I was born, there was an NES in the house and that's why I love games. 
And if you had told me back then that one day Nintendo themselves would be sending me games to talk about on my channel that has almost 100,000 subscribers now, I wouldn't even be able to fathom any of that. So keeping those are very important to me. It's something I'm never going to get rid of. The Wii is something I don't collect for anymore. Half of this is still Australian. Again, I have all the games that I want for it. So I'm not too fast on picking up titles at this point. And same with DS. I've never really got into the DS too much. I love the games that I have, but I'm not really too fast on picking up any of the other ones, apart from the Pokemon games that I'm missing. This was something I got here in Texas, actually, with her uh, Ali. We both went and got these for, I think it was like 35 or maybe even less at that point. The PS Vita TVs, they were so hard, they're still really getting expensive and hard to find. And we got them on sale really cheap, came with a controller, so that was a really good deal. So in the main feature display thing, so I wanted my, my games on one side, I wanted my Zeldies on this side, and I wanted my Back to the Future up here. So I have my hoverboard front and center, which is a was a gift from Arthur at Retro Palooza a couple of Retro Paloozas ago. I can't tell. I almost cried. I, I can't even begin. It's it was in box two. I have a miniature uh, a Back to the Future hoverboard up here, which a fan of the show gave me a uh, link to, sent to me a long, long time ago. Back to the Future Pop. I still need Marty. Back to the Future on NES. Back to the Future on PS4. All the VHSs sealed, as well as. Uh, Secrets of Back to the Future sealed on VHS, that was from a fan recently. Back to the Future, the cartoon, was also a gift from a fan. I recently bought for myself the Marty, the Marty Mc... I almost said Marty Jannetty and then I couldn't even say it for the life of me. This is really cool, this also came from Arthur. It's the photo from Back to the Future 3. And then I have Back to the Future up here on uh, Blu-ray and DVD. And I, when it comes to movies, Back to the Future is my favorite movie. And then when it comes to video games, Zelda is my favorite video game. I almost forgot to mention that this sword, which I got recently in a video that you guys probably watched, I want to actually give a verbal thank you because I found out who it was and it was Stupid Patrick gave me this. Here is actually, I didn't have much Super Nintendo stuff when I left Australia, so this is a lot of my, this is most of my Super Nintendo collection, bar a few games like Earthbound which I left in Australia, which doesn't make sense because it didn't even come out in Australia, it came out here. Mega Man X, Castlevania 4, Final Fantasy 3, some of my favorites. I have Gradius, another one of my favorites. There's a bunch of really great games in here. Super Star Wars games, Super Mario World, stuff like that. And then the NES stuff, uh, River City Ransom was a gift from Aaron from Retro Liberty, and a huge thank you to Aaron still for that one. Metroid, which I actually dropped while I was packing, or unpacking, and now it rattles, I'm upset about that, but it's the variant label. There's Mega Man 2, there's a bunch of other games in here that I really like, Mad Max, but for the most part, again, the ones that I wanted, I bought the first trip to America, and they're already in boxes in Australia, so that's not really that impressive. Down here is my GameCube collection. I, again, I keep going on about it, but I probably have double this in Australia. I bought some of my favorite games to play here on my Panasonic Q, which I had a freeloader disc for, and my plan was to just play some games on this, but I can't play the Australian games here because the TV, the 50 hertz, 60 hertz difference makes all the Australian games in black and white. I can play them, but they're in black and white. Very frustrating. The Panasonic Q is by far my favorite thing in the entire collection, and I've talked about it before, but this gem, when I was younger, when I was like 14, I wanted this. I knew about it when I had a GameCube, and I just, for some reason, before I was even a collector, this was the one thing I wanted. When I became a collector, it was like, I remember that thing, let me get it, or I wanna get it. I never thought I'd actually have it. This thing never leaves my side is what I'm saying. I love this thing, this is my baby. You could burn down half of this stuff and it wouldn't hurt me as much as if I lost this. I also have the controller for it, which is hiding behind there. Um, but that's all, I don't have the component cables or anything else, I wish I did one day. So yeah, GameCube collection, some random stuff I've picked up. Noticeably recently I got up Ikaruga, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Mega Man Anniversary, Mega Man X collection. Uh, I really love Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, Bloody Raw is one of my favorite fighters, like, ever. Lost Kingdoms 1 and 2, these right here are the only games in my entire collection, both here and Australia, that were actually my games from when I was a kid. I don't have anything from NES, anything from 64, unfortunately, my mom still has all of that. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know why I can't get that back. But I managed to get my brother to sneak these out of the house for me, because at the time, I just wanted to play them. And now I just still have them now that I'm a collector. And I love the games. They're really great. They're really underrated. You need to check out Lost Kingdoms 1 and 2 for GameCube. But again, these are the only two games in my entire collection from my childhood. So if there was two things I didn't want to lose, it'd be that and the Panasonic Q. PS, my PS2 collection here is made up of games that I really, really wanted to play. So I bought them in the USA. And you can tell that by the nice labels and not the crappy PAL labels. Sorry if you like the PAL labels. I don't. 
Um, and they're mostly RPGs that I've never made time for or got around to yet. I really want to play the Xenosaga trilogy. I made an I made an effort to collect that, and I still haven't played it. Dark Cloud 1 and 2, I started Dark Cloud 1 and didn't like it, so I jumped to 2 and loved it, but then just kind of stopped playing it, like a lot of things. Devil May Cry is one of my favorite series of games of all time. I love Devil May Cry. And then Kingdom Hearts, Persona again, Radio Stories, Rogue Galaxy. There's a bunch of really great RPGs I have, but I haven't got around to playing. I have some PS1 stuff with a Castlevania Symphony of the Night on top, the best Castlevania game. A Turbo Graphics Express here and not enough games for it, but this is another gem that was sent to me really early in my YouTube career. It was freaking awesome. Comes with a PC Engine attachment. I have a Turbo Graphics back home in Australia. This is a great way to play Turbo Graphics on the go. It's just something I don't really do that often, even though this game does look badass. All right, I'm gonna try and just speed it up a little bit here. Um, PS3, there you go. Engage, there you go. I clicked for Engage. It's something I want to talk about in the video eventually. Um, it's a really quirky, weird system. I got the Sonic Mania little statue here because I love it. I have my Lunar games here. I have PSP box back there. I have a little Walking Dead thing here. I'm a huge fan of Walking Dead. I have a little, a little Lego set here and then a couple back there. Some Walking Dead figures, another one back there that I haven't set up yet. This cube and this cube are kind of two of my main prize cubes here in America. So this one, I have Xenoblade Chronicles, which is actually the PAL version. It's like much more expensive. Cannon Spike for Dreamcast, Skies of Arcadia for GameCube. Again, that's the PAL version and super expensive. Uh, Soul Calibur 2, one of my favorite fighting games. Zombies Ain't My Neighbors, the cart from the episode that was completely melted and in a house fire. Well, not completely, just enough that it looks cool, but still plays. Um, I love that game too, so I just think that one has so much character and personality. And then on this side, I have Illusion of Gaia box, really nice condition. Chrono Trigger for DS and the actual Chrono Trigger, which I picked up recently, and I'm so happy to give that a home. Uh, Adventure Island 3, which is actually Kim's, and I just bought that for her, but it found its way into my collection for now. Don't tell her. She's behind the camera, she knows. And then uh, Super Pro Protector, which is Super Contra, but the PAL version. Games I got recently in that video, you guys might have seen the Dragon Warriors in my fan mail video in Final Fantasy. And one of the most insane fan mail videos I've ever had. I have DX up here. I'm a huge wrestling fan. This is Shawn Michaels and Triple H in their DX pose. I have uh, figures from uh, Hunter x Hunter, my favorite anime of all time. These were lovingly given to me again. A lot of my coolest stuff is from my girlfriend, so now you know why she's... My girlfriend. And then I started putting Amiibos up here. I have my Switch box. I have my NES and SNES Classic Edition. I have some toys. I have a bunch of things around. This video has been going for a while. I don't want to get into every single little thing. Um, there's some more cool stuff lying around that I'll get shots of while I'm talking to splice them into the video. But mostly, that is what I have here in the States. This is my new studio, my new filming location, my new game room, which we just set up like 10 minutes ago. And I'm excited to start making some videos in here. I live here now for at least a year. We signed the lease. So for at least a year, I'm not moving anymore. And I hope you guys like the new game room, you like the new set because you're going to be seeing a lot of it over the next year. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. I wanted to do this for me because I'm so happy and for you because you guys keep asking for it. Remember to like this video, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. I know there's cooler game rooms out there. I know I'm missing a lot of stuff. Again, there's some stuff in Australia. I haven't really even been able to collect for the last three years because I've been moving so much, I wanted to keep it all in check. I'm proud of what I have. I love what I have. So much of it was gifts. So much of it was stuff that I found here in the States since I've moved. And so much of it means so much to me. And you guys mean so much to me. And I'm just, I'm just happy right now. I'm really happy. So thank you. I love you. And thank you, Kim, for filming this video because I know your hands are looking a little shaky right now because you've been filming for a while. I'm going to shut up. Love you. Bye.